It's been over a week and a half since the Park City Center shooting left six people injured in Lancaster County. Tonight we're hearing from a young woman who was working there that day and she helped get people to safety. Jeremiah Marshall is here to share her story. Jeremiah. Yeah, Alicia Valerie, this young woman also helped a young shopper along with many colleagues get out and get for safety. But you know, we also spoke to her and she also says she remembers that there were people screaming, running and trampling over each other and she says the effect of that day still remains with her. It's just kind of hard trying to like put myself back out in the mall knowing that that happened a little over a week ago. 18 year old Phoebe Copenheffer says since the shooting, it's sometimes hard to clock in and start her shift because she can't forget what happened that day. I look around and everybody's like crying and everybody's on the phone. I'm texting everyone I know telling them like I love you guys. I'll text you when I get home, but I didn't know if I was going to go home. Her mother Vanessa says her daughter was shaken up and was doing her best to process what all took place. I pick her up, I'm asking her what happened and she's trying to recount as much as she possibly could. And oftentimes there's triggers from our environment uh, as we experience that event that we're not perceiving in the moment, but they are coded in the brain. UPMC licensed psychologist Dr. Melissa Brown says anxiety and triggers from trauma are normal. Brown says every action has a reaction. Sometimes you'll hear people say things well meaning like you got to forget about it, just move on. The brain doesn't quite work like that. It wants to fill in the pieces that are missing. Dr. Brown also says to help reduce anxiety, surround yourself with supportive people and talk to a professional. I'm a very family oriented person. So I'm just gravitated towards getting people out and helping everybody get to safety. And after the shooting, Phoebe says she and her co-workers were offered therapy. She also says that is something that she is going to seek. In studio, Jeremiah Marshall, ABC 27 News. Thank